before that. His former students always earned superior ratings in competitions and they performed all over the world. And students to this day who played in Sugar Bear Band remember Mr. Barnett's very strict personality. Let's gather around. Sugar Bear Band. We learned this during rookie group. It should be second nature to you by now. If you do it right one good time around with looks good, we'll go home. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm one of Macon's native sons, and I began my music career tickling the ivories in the fourth grade way over there at Winship Elementary School. Fifth grade came and so did another instrument, the trumpet. <laughs> I love playing the trumpet, I tell you so much so that I did it through junior and high school. I was so darn good at it, UGA gave me a full ride. <laughs> Any Bulldog fans here? What was it? All right. <laughs> I played that battle hymn, glory, glory to old Georgia, every Saturday between the hedges, as they say. <laughs> During my time at UGA, I worked summers with several well-known orchestras. At the ripe old age of 19, I was hired by the Glenn Miller Orchestra to play throughout the country. I performed and directed concerts throughout the United States and Europe, including the internationally famous Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. I played with many noteworthy groups during my career, including the drummer from the NBC Tonight Show Orchestra, the Walt Disney World Orchestra at the Grand Floridian Hotel, premier artists such as Ray Charles, Olivia Newton-John, Macon Locals Chuck Lavelle, and Dexter and Otis Redding III. But as a high school music educator, the greatest high I would get would be watching young people develop the discipline needed to perform master material. You see, once they get that, a good work ethic, that would help them the rest of their lives. One of my well-known sayings was, if you join the band just to learn a musical instrument, you shouldn't be here. Band is about taking care of all the things in your life. I would try to strike a balance between demanding excellence and praising achievement. That was my secret formula to success to inspire my beloved Sugar Bear Band. <laughs> I also treasured any musical opportunities to perform with family members, like the time I got to play Dixieland style music with my brother Earl. Now, when Lanier later became Central High, my daughter Lisa joined the marching Central High Sugar Bear Band. I tell you, I was one proud dad that day. <laughs> During my 30 year career at Central High School, the Sugar Bear Band and I were honored by Walt Disney World with a record 23 consecutive years of marching in the Magic Kingdom Parade. In fact, I was given the coveted Mouse Girl Award by Disney when I retired. But get this, we were selected to perform for four U.S. presidents. Most notably in 1992 when then-President-elect Bill Clinton joined the band for a senatorial rally here in Macon. Next thing I know, Clinton's leaning over and borrowing one of my band members' saxophones, and he joined in a chorus of, hey, baby. <laughs> I tell you, the photographers went berserk. It was then and there that that famous picture of Bill Clinton playing saxophone with our band was captured. My gosh, that picture went on to be printed worldwide in newspapers. It was published in Time Life Books. It even won the Pulitzer Prize later in 1993. Of course, that meant we had to retire that saxophone. And with saxophones being expensive, it kind of put the school in a little bit of a bind. But luckily, Bib Music and the sax manufacturer joined together and they donated a replacement saxophone to the school so we could retire that Clinton sax for posterity. We even put a copy of that famous picture in the case with that saxophone. But the most important thing to me was that it brought national attention to our wonderful band students and program. Truth is, the Sugar Bear Band was like family to me and we were the best around. I know I tended to fuss a lot during practice, but I wanted my band members to love music and to get it right. You see, the one thing I demanded of my students was that they just do their very best at every practice and every performance. And if I do say so myself, 
the results spoke for themselves with our perfectly synced choreographed performances. People were amazed I could get those kids to do that. The Lord was good to me. Three decades of coaching musicians into nationally recognized award-winning marchers, it did eventually come to an end. After many long years of service and dedication to the Board of Education, I finally hung up my baton and retired in 1995. Well, okay, I hung on playing music for another 19 years until I really did retire from performing in 2014. Now, I'm buried right here at Riverside Cemetery. It's true, but most people who knew me were convinced there would never be a retirement and that I would just work myself into a grave over at Central High School instead of right here where we stand. Well, that would have been okay too because I loved working with those kids. <laughs> Maybe some nights if you stand real still and the wind is just right you can close your eyes and still hear me strike up the band.